Okay, figure four, drawing in the curve. So if we were in the classroom, we would have French rulers and we're lucky in the classroom to have a whole bucket of them. So you could take two and put them against each other and you're really just trying to hit the end of those curves. So like point N, you're trying to hit, you know, the length of it and M and L up here. You can kind of see that. So I will tell you in the classroom, this is hard. <laughs> People always have issues, but it somehow works itself out eventually. But I think it might be easier in Clo possibly. I'm gonna use this um, tool right here, our curve tool, is that what it's called? What do you call it, little guy? Uh, edit curve point. And I think he's gonna work for us, but in order to do it, it's gonna work better if this is one segment. Right now it's like four segments. So I wanna bring it back to just one segment. And then I also wanna lock all these little notch guys. We have them as guides, but I just don't want them to interfere. So I'm gonna try, see if I can lock it. So I'm gonna hold shift. Okay, I'll just do one side first, see if this works. Right click, lock. Okay, now let's see here. If I click this point, uh, the shape, I think I drew it first. Shouldn't that shape be, whatever. I'm gonna pick this shape and I'm gonna say delete. What happens if I do that? I, I hope that was a point on my pattern line. And I think it was. So this one I think, belongs to, uh, what do you belong to? Why are you, oh, so I delete you too. Oh, that was, I, I tried to lock him. Oh dear, okay, so you know I'm just gonna right click and say lock, because I like having him here, I don't want him gone. Okay, so I think the lower number 45 instead of 47, I think that's our pattern line, or not our pattern line, you know, A to F. So that's the one I wanna delete, because I want one long segment, see already now it's working. And then this one I think belongs to um, this line, which I thought I locked, apparently not enough. I'll just lock it again, so we're good. And then this guy, again, because I drew the red line first, so 45, so I think it's a lower number, I'm gonna click that guy and lock, uh, delete him. And then the other little guy, which I think belongs to this gray line, I'm gonna lock him. Okay, well, so I think I'm good to go. And so now I'm gonna hit this curve tool and I'm gonna click right here. I'm adding a curve point. I'm gonna click and drag and bring it up here. Kind of threw my line off, but that's okay. I'm gonna click and drag and bring it to the next point. And uh, did I accidentally double click? There we go. There you go. That's pretty easy. See, look, I hit my curve hit all my points. How about that? <laughs> so let's see if I am, oops, really? Come on, I gotta get out of this. I'm causing trouble. Okay, handing over. Let's see if I can do this on the other side. So what I did is I made this guy all one segment because when I made it one segment, it was really easy to go in and add curve points. It can't really add curve points at the end of a segment. I don't know, that's kind of weird thinking which takes me a little while to get used to. But what I did last time was I did lock all of these guys. So I'm gonna pick you, you, and you. I'm gonna right click and lock them. And then I need to lock the newer ones because I know that the shape 47s are the little notch lines I made. I don't know if notch is really the right word. They're the lines I made from the last figure, figure three. Okay, and I'll right click and lock it. Are you locked? Maybe I forgot to lock him. I just selected it and I didn't lock it. Okay, so now I think if I click, uh, why is this still giving me the choice? Okay, no, it's not letting, I don't know. Okay, so now if I click the 45 number, the lower number, because I drew it first, I should be able to just hit delete. And now look at that, my segment's longer. So I want to join this segment and this segment, and I think all I have to do is delete this line, this little point, because it's um, a straight line. So yeah, that's working. So... I don't know if you guys are following along or not, if that makes sense. Hopefully you guys are. Now I'm ready to get this curve tool and I wanna to put, a, this is a straight segment, right? Very, very straight. I wanna put a curve right here. So with my left mouse, I'm gonna click one time. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna still hold it up. Am I doing this right? I did something wrong. I thought I locked you, mister. Okay, right click, <laughs> lock. Oh my gosh, okay. There we go, there's my segment. Here's my curve tool. Oh yes, I would love a curve right here. I'm clicking and dragging to bring it here. Oh my, it's not really happy with me. Ooh, that's not working. Okay, 
Well, this is a little harder than the back was. Okay, what if we, let's see, I'm gonna click you, right click. Do we all come with points for now, just for fun? Right click, okay. Okay, I don't know, I'm gonna try this again. Okay, it worked. I don't know why I was having difficulties, but I was able to move on with my life, so that's good. Okay, look at me. There it is. Okay, um, so that is figure four. Um, okay, cool. So I guess I will end the video since we have our curve. I will say, wow, our you know cap height is so much shorter than the books. And I kind of warned us, the book did have a much bigger cap height. You know, maybe we should have lowered it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm just going to keep going with it for now.